Hello, I'm Nadine and very warm welcome. Today we're doing some yummy holiday baking. We are making a beautiful cinnamon, sugar and pecan star bread. Now, trust me, this is much easier than it looks to make in four easy steps. I'm going to walk you through it. And trust me, if you make this, your friends and family will love you. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, let's start. So this star bread will be ready in about four steps. First, we're going to make the dough and let it um, rise for about an hour, an hour and a half. And then we are going to roll it out and add the filling. Then step three, we're going to shape it. And lastly, step four, we are just going to let it rest for a bit and then bake it and it'll be ready. <laughs> okay, so let's start the dough. So I'm just doing this in a stand mixer. I'm going to add the sugar, yeast, and some warm milk. The milk you probably want about 105, 110 um, Fahrenheit. You don't want it um, too hot or you will kill the yeast. <laughs> we don't want to kill it. <laughs> Just lightly whisk it, cover it and let it stand for a few minutes and it will kind of become frothy and then we'll do the next step. Okay, so the, the yeast was hanging out for a bit. It becomes kind of brown and frothy and it releases the smell. Uh, so you know it's ready. Now we're just going to add the egg. Uh, butter, it's really softened. The egg is also warm at room temperature. Give it a little mix and then flour and salt. Now I'm just going to mix this with the dough attachment of the mixer for about 5 minutes and it will really come together because initially it's very sticky but then it will become pliable and a beautiful dough. If you don't have a mixer like this then you will have to do it by hand. Um, it does, it will take you about 8 to 10 minutes to do that. Uh, you just need, need, need and just resist the urge to add too much flour when you're kneading by hand. It feels very sticky and unmanageable in the beginning, but you'll get there. So the dough is ready. When uh, you know you touch it, it's still tacky, but it doesn't completely stick to your fingers. Now we'll just transfer the dough into an oiled bowl. We will cover it with a damp cloth and just let it hang out for about an hour and a half in a warm place out of a draft and it's going to rise and be really amazing. <laughs> While the dough is rising, we will prepare the filling. We are just going to chop up some uh, pecans fairly finely because if they're too uh, big, then uh, they might rip the dough. Then really simple, we're just going to mix together some unsalted softened butter, light brown sugar and lots of cinnamon. Okay, and just mix, 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 and it's done. Now we'll just set this aside and our dough is just about ready. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Ta-da! <laughs> the dough is nice and risen. It was about an hour and a half. And then this is the fun part. We will just knock the air out of it. <laughs> And then we will divide this into four equal parts. So what I did was that I actually weighed the four 
pieces so that they're equal that way we'll just have everything be very even and then you just shape them into some balls like this and then we'll work on one at a time and start rolling out so we we'll just wrap these with some cling wrap while we roll them out so just lightly fly your surface so it doesn't stick and your rolling pin and we're just going to form these into about 10 inch rounds Initially, the dough sort of pulls back, uh, but you'll eventually get there, I promise. <laughs> So I transferred it onto a piece of parchment paper and then we're just going to put a thin layer of our filling. So there'll be three layers of filling and four layers of dough. Then I'm going to sprinkle it with our yummy pecans. This adds a lot of flavor and texture. And then we just repeat the process. Then our last one goes on top. Now step number four, the exciting bit, we are going to shape this bread. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so at this stage, if your circle is a little wacky, we will just neaten up the edges with a pizza cutter, just go around it over the knife. Now in the center, we will just mark about a two and a half inch uh, circle, uh, just like a little imprint, we're not going all the way through. Now with a sharp knife, we're going to make some cuts and we won't go through this little circle we just did. Then after these four cuts, we're going to make four more. <laughs> Okay, now that our cuts are done, we are going to start twisting and it looks so pretty. <laughs> so what we do is we take two strips, turn them once, then again, and then sort of stick them like this and press the edge. Pretty simple. And we go all the way around. Now that's our gorgeous star bread. Now I'm going to transfer this onto a baking tray, cover it lightly and we're going to let it rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so the bread's been resting for about 25 minutes and I am just going to brush it with a little egg wash, which is just one egg uh, mixed with one tablespoon of milk and we lightly brush it. Okay, so the oven has been preheating at 350. This is gonna go in for about 20 to 25 minutes till it's nice and golden. And while I was in the oven, I just made a simple sugar syrup, half a cup of sugar and half a cup of water and I let it boil. And we just, when it comes out, we brush it lightly with it and it'll just get extra moist. It's just out of the oven. It is smelling fantastic in here. I can't wait to dig in. So I'm just going to lightly brush it with some sugar syrup and that just makes it 
extra moist. I made a little dipping icing with this takes this over the edge so it's just a uh, half a cup of confectioner sugar that i sifted and mixed it with about a tablespoon of milk till it gets like this thick consistency and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and uh, this is great because you can just pull one and dip <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get better than this. <laughs> this cinnamon is so yummy and you can't go wrong with bread. Like, you just can't. <laughs> I really, really hope you try this recipe. I mentioned before that your friends and family will love you, you will love yourself. It's like a whole love fest going on. <laughs> And if you do, let me know how it went. I love hearing about it, either in the comments below or DM me on Instagram, tag me. The full recipe will be on my website, nadineali.com. I'm going to have all these baking dessert recipes, pretty presentation ideas. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, hit the bell. I hope you share this with your loved ones. Until next time.